Moim gościem jest pan Ben Stojkowicz, prezes firmy górniczej Prairie Mining notowanej na warszawskiej giełdzie. Witam pana serdecznie. Mr. President, welcome to our economic program Rzecz o Biznesie. Thank you very much. Um, all the drilling uh, made on the um, premises of the future Jankarski mine are very promising. Uh, they indicate the existence of a high quality coking coal, not energetic. Uh, what does it mean for the company? It's a fantastic outcome for the company. Uh, what it means is that our, our modern exploration program that was conducted according to international standards has, has proven that the coal in Lublin can be much more valuable than was previously thought. Uh, many people in Poland have thought that we would compete with Bogdanka uh, in the energetic coal market. That is simply not the case. We will be producing coking coal for the steelmaking market. Coking coal is a much higher value commodity. And the real benefit here for, for the Lublin region is that we could be developing a new coal mine that is in line with European Union strategy because coking coal is a critical raw material. That will bring more jobs, that will bring more taxes and revenues to the local community and create a, a more stable economic environment. So it's a real opportunity for Lublin region and, and Helm province in particular to become a coking coal production center for Europe. Uh, how, how many um, uh, drillings uh, have you made so far? Um, what about documentation uh, um, you got from a um, uh, state? Is valuable or yeah. not? Absolutely. So we inherited a, a database from, from the Polish government, uh, but all of that work was conducted in the 1960s and 70s. So it's very old data and it had some inaccuracies. So we've completed nine boreholes, uh, extra drillings, and that data has been used to improve the historical understanding. Uh, and it's been very successful. As I said earlier, we've now identified that we have very high quality coking coal, not just thermal coal. And what that allows us to do is to design a very modern and efficient mine. Uh, what is the preparation, uh, preparation uh, stage uh, concerning Jankarski mine cons uh, construction? So we completed a deposit development plan and that has been approved by the Lublin Mining Authority. The spatial planning or rezoning has been conducted. Uh, at this point in time, the environmental consent procedure is underway. Uh, so we're waiting for that to be approved. The next phase will be applying for a mining concession. And as soon as a mining concession is granted, we are able to commence the construction phase. It is said that um, the investors interested in mine building um, to po in Poland are not credible and their only goal is to sell uh, license. Mm, uh, where do you think this opinion come from, Mr. President? I'm not really sure where that opinion has come from. Uh, but what I can say is that Australians are experts in the field of coal mining. We're one of the world's largest exporters of coal. So it's, it's something that Australians do very naturally. We've been operating in Poland for over five years now. We've spent hundreds of millions of zloty on our projects. We've built a very large and professional Polish team. We're very serious about mine building. That's what we do. And um, what do you think of the fears that private mines can be a competition for state one? I think those fears are unfounded. We look at the situation in, Pol in Poland today where imports of hard coal are increasing by about 60% per year and we're seeing more mine closures. In the case of coking coal, we know the European Union imports something like 85% of the required coking coal. So I don't see any competition with state mines. In fact, I see an opportunity for new mines to be built and for Poland to export more coal. Uh, what markets um, will you be targeting at? So the coal that we would produce could be exported all around the world. It's very high quality coking coal. And the transport infrastructure from Poland to the export markets is, is very, very good. So, but really the uh, target markets would be Europe, particularly Central Europe, And of course, with the growing shortage of coal in Poland, 
we would look to replace some of the imports that are currently coming into Poland from places like Australia and the USA. Uh, you were to start the mine building uh, this year. Is it real? It is possible for us to commence construction this year once the mining concession is granted. So really, that uh, timing depends on when the concession authority grants a mining concession to the company. As soon as a concession is granted, we can progress to the construction phase. Uh, what benefits can bring private investors in coal mining uh, to Poland? Well, it's, it's very obvious. Uh, for example, our exploration program at Jankarski has demonstrated that we have high quality coking coal, which previously wasn't well understood in the Lublin Coal Basin. So it enhances the value of the project. With that improved geological knowledge, we can design a more modern and efficient mine. We can introduce a new technology into that coal mine that has been used all over the world, in the USA, in Australia, in, in Russia, in China, for over 25 years. But it hasn't been widely used in Poland yet. So by introducing that new technology, such as roof bolting and continuous miners and very modern wash plants, we can improve the efficiency of extraction uh, and, and mine at much lower costs, which is only a good thing for the Polish economy because it means we could have a, a, a coal industry and coal mines that can survive through the whole market cycle. What the media say uh, is that Mr. Mittal, the owner of Ironworks in Krakow, uh, met the, uh, we met uh, with Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki and complained uh, about the shortage of supplies uh, of coking coal. What, what does it mean for Priory? It's, it's a very good question. Um, so it's clear now that there is a shortage of coking coal, not just across the European Union, but in Poland also. Um, everyone understands that coking coal is on the European Commission's critical raw material list. That means that the EU recognises that coking coal is necessary for the European steelmaking industry. And that's important because as we build more electric vehicles in Europe as we build nuclear power stations. They all require steel and coking coal is needed for steel. Uh, so in terms of ArcelorMittal, uh, news only last week was that imports of coal into Poland from the USA have increased by five times last year. And ArcelorMittal has a, a, uh, indicated they are importing coking coal from the USA. I would like to think that coal from our projects, from both of our projects, could be used by a company like ArcelorMittal rather than relying on imports. Uh, what is the attitude of the local inhabitants towards your plans? Uh, uh, do you have support of uh, local authorities? Indeed we do. At both projects we have very strong community support. Uh, let's look at Jankarski in Lublin. We've worked there now for five years. We've built very strong relationships with the, the local gminas and, and regional authorities. Uh, independent polling has indicated that 70% of the inhabitants of the region support the construction of a new coke and coal mine. And why do they support that? Because that region of Poland, particularly the Helm province, uh, has an, un un an unemployment rate of 15%. Uh, the average GDP per capita is, is something like 40% lower than the national average for Poland. So the people in Helm want industrial development. They want a project like this. It brings jobs. It brings increased revenues and taxes to the regional authorities and local governments. It's very important for them. What will be the cost of building um, uh, Jankarski mine? So our current, our current in, uh, estimates indicate that it's around uh, just over 2 billion Polish slotty, around 630 million US dollars is the upfront cost for building the Jankarski mine. Uh, where will you obtain the funding uh, if the banks are unwilling uh, to lend money for coal projects? Well, we have to be very clear uh, the difference between thermal or energetic coal and coking coal. Uh, many of the banks that talk about not financing coal are really referring to energetic coal. But we have coking coal. 
which is a, a critical raw material for the European Union. So there is still financing available for coking coal. Uh, and in the case of Yankarski, we've been talking with the Chinese for a long time now and with Chinese banks, and that discussion is progressing. Uh, and we see a lot of support for financing new coal projects, particularly out of Asia. So that has been our focus. Mm-hmm. Jan Karski mine is supposed to be a very efficient uh, mine, um, uh, not only in Poland, but in the whole Europe. Uh, the cost of mining will be approximately $25 per ton. Um, you said a year ago. Uh, how do you want to achieve this? Well, it comes back to what I said before. By doing a modern exploration program, we have a very good understanding of the geology of the deposit. That allows us to have a very efficient and accurate mine design. And we can introduce the new technology we've spoken about. We can have more automation. Uh, we can have uh, roof bolting. We can have more efficient wash plants. Uh, and that would lead to more efficient labor organization. So by combining all of these technologies, we can have a higher productivity, which means lower cost. Mm-hmm. Uh, when can the mine bring profit? It can bring profits within about six months after we start production from the mine. Impressive. Um, you have also plans um, concerning um, Upper Silesia. Uh, what could the cooperation with Um, Jastrzębka, Spółka, Węglowa involved? We've always been very open, uh, and I've said it many times before, that we are happy and, and open to cooperating with Polish capital or Polish businesses. Uh, that's one of the reasons that we listed on the Warsaw Stock Exchange back in 2015. In terms of JSW, I, I really can't comment any, any more on that at this point in time. The Priory Mining is a company listed on the Warsaw Stock Exchange, um, yet the key investors um, come from Australia. How would you explain the interest in Poland? So, as I said earlier, Australia is world famous for uh, the coal industry. We're one of the world's largest exporters of, of both thermal and coking coal. We have a strong expertise in this area and Australian investors very much like coal projects. Uh, Poland happens to be blessed with world-class deposits of coal. Both of our projects fit that category. Jankarski is a world-class deposit of type 34 coal. Debiensko is a world-class deposit of, of type 35, hard coking coal. Um, that's why Australian investors are interested, because these projects are world-class. What are the perspectives um, for the coal in the world? Um, can the climate uh, around, around it uh, change? Look, I think, again, we need to be clear that our projects are focused on coking coal for the steelmaking industry. And if we look at the European situation, Europe is dependent on imports for 85% of its coking coal requirements. That is why it's a critical raw material, uh, as deemed by the, by the EU. So I think the prospects for coking coal in this regional market uh, are very, very positive. As I said earlier, we need steel for all of those downstream industries, car manufacturing, uh, for infrastructure, for nuclear power plants. And you'll only get that high quality steel by using coking coal. Thank you for the interview, uh, Mr. President. Moim gościem był pan Ben Stojkowicz, prezes górniczej firmy Prime.